Hello and welcome to a brand new BB kit. This month is a designer collaboration with Primrose Corner. Amber has brought her pretty designs to BB for a floral spring kit. Let me introduce you to Amber. Hello, my name is Amber. I am an illustrator and I am the owner of the Primrose Corner, which is a website um, stationery shop and um, that's where you can find me across all social media as well. I was beyond excited when Tiffany reached out to me to collaborate on this kit. Uh, the theme that we went with was a secret garden or the primrose garden. Um, I just wanted it to give you the feeling of being in nature and in a space where you can be peaceful and kind of escape the pressures of the world but obviously you are welcome to interpret the kit however you want to interpret it. I absolutely loved working on the artwork for this. I think it turned out beautifully. I'm so excited to use the kit um, in my own life and I hope that you enjoy it too. And thanks for just giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. And I hope that when you're watching this, you are having a lovely day. Bye. Now that you've met Amber, I wanted to dive right into the kit. This is the enamel pin to add to your enamel pin collection. It is like a secret journal. Amber really wanted to have an enamel pin um, from the inspiration photo that you saw on the mood board. When I do these designer kits, I always ask the designer um, what they would like to see in the kit, what types of products. And one of the requests from Amber were um, like die cut stickers. I kind of switched it and turned it up. Um, I thought vellum die cut stickers would be really fun and to really showcase her artwork. I love these girls. Aren't they fun? Um, the clip art, the florals, the colors, they really, really stand out with these vellum die cuts. Don't forget, um, there is like a peel on the back, so make sure you remove that before placing them like on your planner or your project. A long time ago, I did a DIY bookmark charm and one of the requests from Amber was to have some sort of charm um, with a kit, like a bookmark charm. Um, and I thought it would be great to bring something like this back uh, you get a bundle charm of a felt uh, flower with some beads on there and then the other one is a bee enamel uh, all you need to do is kind of be creative and put this together as you would like be totally creative with this charm it doesn't have to be the way that I'm doing it here you can add things you can only do one charm you can put both charms on one end you know do it how you want to see it but um i'm just going to put this the bee charm on the other side um i will be going back to this to show you how i'm going to incorporate it with another product that is in the kit as well okay let's move on these are the transparent circle page flags i think i included these with the valentine's kit and a lot of you like them so i brought them back in different colors i um more of like the kit colors very vibrant i think but still kind of spring and feminine um this one's the purple one they look really like bold but once you put them on paper they're very sheer um, and this one's my favorite. I love this color. It is sticker book time. As you can probably already tell, the sticker book looks a little bit different. And by different, I mean paper. Look how the colors just pop. And the foil just, it really, really um, stands out. You're, you are going to love this paper if you haven't already mm, let me see a lot of the samplers have this type of paper so if you love that paper it is in the sticker books going forward Ugh, right the color just is super vibrant i really really like it really like how it turned out there is a downside though um the vb pens do take longer to write uh, with to write on the stickers so it is best to use a um, 
like a Sharpie or a more permanent marking pen. But I got you covered with that and you'll see coming up. Let's chat about the washi tape. Again, like every month, <laughs> two washi tapes for the kit. This one is a garden floral, I should maybe call it. Um, it has foiled bees. Pretty, huh? And then the second one is just outlined floral um, with kind of a peachy orange background with gold foil. So last month I skipped out on the transparent stickers and but I left you guys the cards <laughs> but this month I brought them back um, because the colors are so bold um, and bright I just thought it'd be really fun to see them in your spring layouts and then the cards I you know I really had to showcase um, Amber's clip art really pretty as you can see, bees and florals are like the main thing, main theme um, for this kit. I think this was the one, one of the first requested products from Amber that she really wanted to have in the kit. So we designed a vellum sticky note with her floral artwork in a very light gold foil. So pretty, right? I was just thinking how many of you just skipped through my reveal video just to see the pen. And it's okay. It's totally okay because I know how much you guys love the pens each month. This one was designed by Amber. I like to call this um, more of a robin's egg blue. Um, and the crystals are a light blush, iridescent crystal, and a light peach with gold hardware. Oh, and added bonus for this month is a uni pen you've probably seen this around the planner community um this one is in a zero one point size um and it is amazing to write on vellum products and like the transparent page flags and of course i had to include the pen because you need to write on your stickers so they write very very well on the stickers if you're going to use a VB pen, you just have to make sure to write slowly and to wait until it dries because it will smear. But no excuse, you have the uni pen. We are winding down to the last couple products for this kit. Um, this is the reason why our kit was so heavy this month. It is a notebook, a grid notebook. Um, it's the size of a uh, Hobonichi, so you get the cover and um, and the notebook. Look how pretty that is. This is Amber, of course, um, designed this. She really wanted a notebook, and um, go follow her to see how she incorporates the notebook. She, I think she's probably going to use it for sketching, for everyday things. I think that's going to be really great, and I'm excited to see what you do with this notebook. It's totally blank. It's just grid. Um, you can do it as a journal. You can do it as a sketchbook. So many possibilities with this. Remember that product I talked about before? In the, I think in the beginning of this video, it was the DIY bookmark charm this is how it's going to look isn't that cute you can just tuck this or just cut the string but i really like it i made sure that um the string was long enough so you can put the charms um on both ends but if you don't like it that way this is how i usually would do my bookmark charms um you're gonna take um some washi tape you're gonna fold the bookmark charm in half. Um, you can do this on a page or in the back cover. I usually do it in the back cover and I'm gonna tape that string right in that spine. Um, it's not gonna it's not gonna be super strong. You could probably use stronger um, tape, but at least with washi tape, you can remove it. Look at that, <laughs> isn't that cute? I love it, just love it. Oh, and then you have your pen. Such a fun kit, right guys? Surprise! One last thing for the kit. This is a weekly notepad. Um, this 
isn't listed on your um, what's in my kit card. Uh, I wasn't sure if this was going to come in time, but it did. Uh, I really love Amber's um, girls, the Primrose Corner girls. So um, I, the ones that she made for this kit, I really had to um, feature them on this notepad. And if you see, there's me and Luca. <laughs> Let me show you the paper pack two pieces of vellum you have this abstract brush lines and this really pretty floral pattern just simple black and white and then your four cardstock sheets ah i'm so proud um, of how this kit turned out thank you amber for um, collaborating with me on this kit i think it's perfect for spring um I've been getting a lot of feedback from the sneaks from you guys and it looks like you are really loving what you're seeing so far. So thank you, thank you guys. I know there is a slight shipping delay with this kit, but um, you know, it's totally worth it at the end. I stress out when we don't get kits in time, but as you can see, everything is so pretty. Thank you everyone for your patience as we get this kit out to you. I know all of you are excited to see the um, products in your hands. Next month's kit is all about self-care and wellness. I have been working on my health for the past couple months and I wanted to bring the importance of health and wellness in a kit to you. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope all of you are well and I will see you next month. <laughs>